Okay, I am in Brunswick, Georgia, and you are looking at Grace, the 42-foot-long Atlantic catamaran that's going to be our house for the, our grand adventure. Okay, here we are getting a little closer, coming around the back of the boat, the stern. You can see the dinghy there, it's probably about 11 feet long, just a little smaller than Gato Verde's. The uh, pilot house goes right up to the back of the boat, so it's a little different than what we're all used to. There's the engine for the dinghy. There's one of the dagger boards. They stick about four feet above the deck when the boards are up, and they are pretty much flush when they're down. And there is the forward cockpit, the entrance and the windows. They've got nice shade cloth on the windows so things don't get too hot. Well, kids, I think you guys are going to like this. It's the uh, kayak that we're going to be having with us. It's really cool. It's, it can be pedaled or paddled, and it even has a little sailing ring so we can sail it too. So I'm very excited to get you guys sailing on your own in this. And uh, these are the forward decks and the trampoline. It's got a great big trampoline like Gato Verde, but without the, the uh, catwalk in the middle. There's the starboard side dagger board. And then there's the cockpit right there. And the cockpit has a wheel and engine controls, and then the mast goes all the way up. The mast is about the same height as our mast on Gato Verde. The sails are all the same size as on Gato Verde's. It's a faster boat because it's a lighter boat and it's got less space inside, but still plenty for the four of us. And there's the cockpit where we're going to be spending a lot of time. There's sun protection that covers uh, about three quarters of the cockpit. It's, uh, it's great. And get some better angles here. Okay, there's the, one of the solar panels. And that hump there is so that you don't smash your head as you're walking down the stairs inside, which you'll see. And there's the wind generator, and it's plenty high, so it won't be dangerous for us. Okay, well this is the forward cockpit that, uh, I'm sorry, the forward cabin that I'm looking at. Um, it's got bookshelves, and then storage underneath, and a drawer there with some storage. And... Um, there might be some, I think, I think that's a crash bulkhead up in front. Um, it's very cluttered right now, linens and books that we're getting rid of and magazines to recycle. And then walking aft, you get to the head, which is uh, probably the same size, maybe a little bigger than in Gato Verde. And then you keep walking forward and you come into the double bedroom. There's storage outboard. And then storage under the bunk. And storage in the wall there. And then there's a double bed here, which you can't see very well because I've got stuff piled on it. Plenty of hatches for ventilation. There are fans in all the bedrooms. And then there's a companionway here that doesn't have a door um, that opens up on the galley. And the galley has a nice big double sink and a three burner stove with an oven. It's pretty much the same as Angato Verde, same brand. Plenty of storage underneath. And up above, and trash is under there, and pots and pans and spices. And now I'm going up the stairs, which are very steep, more like a monohull, and up into the pilot house, which is nice and bright. It's got two office chairs. 
that swivel. And there's the inside helm station with uh, engine controls and the wheel and all the instruments and the navigation gear, fire extinguisher. And then to port is the navigation station with a single sideband radio and the Pactor modem for sending emails only with no pictures over the internet or uh, over the radio and all the navigation toys and then here's the table kind of like the salon table and uh, the settee and there are great big windows all the way around making you dizzy okay now we're going down the companionway on the other side Look in, and there's a closet here. Um, that's the shower. It's huge, and it separates the engine from the, the that that wall connects to the engine room. So it it uh, no one's sleeping next to an engine in this boat. And then a workbench with uh, tool storage and stuff like that, and lots of storage up here, and access to behind the electrical panels and more work surfaces and then mom and dad's bedroom which I guess also doesn't have a door um, and then the double bed over here and then the second head and then instead of having a single bunk up here it's basically a giant storage space. It's like the garage. So there's fishing gear and the spinnaker and lots of spare lines and all sorts of stuff like that. <laughs>